In this video, I'm going to share with you a secret little adjustment from the 335 odd. Really, any formation you can do this out of, but I like 335 odd the best for this. And this is a way that you can basically really make your cover six significantly better, especially against the gun bunch or any trips formation. I think this is one of the better uh, tips for running this form or running this concept. So the cover six is probably, in my personal opinion, one of the better match coverages in the game. Um, and we're going to show you how you can make it significantly better against the bunch meta uh, in this video. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you have not already picked up my 335 odd defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the pinned comment below. It's also going to be linked in the description. If you want to get it, it's on sale for just 15 bucks. Has probably the best blitzing cons, probably the most dominating blitzing concepts in the game. Um, so, one of my favorite formations. If you want to get the guide, it's down below. So, cover six is what we're going to run. And uh, I'm actually going to take this package off, and I'm just going to come out and cover six standard at a 335 odd. You could do this from 245 odd as well. I've got a guide on that in the description for those of you that like to run 245 odd. Uh, I think 335 odd has some a little some unique things about it that make it a little bit better in some areas, and then 245 odd also has some other things that make it really good as well. So, anyways, all that to say, here's your adjustment. So, um, I'm going to first show you the problem. So, the problem is this. So let's say, for example, they run a setup that looks essentially like this. This is, if they know you're running cover six, any good bunch player, especially if they're really good and they, they've labbed um, some stuff, they're going to know that this right here does a pretty good job against cover six. You should see R1 gets wide open. The three rec is supposed to take that, but he doesn't. And as you see, it's a touchdown. Okay, it's one play touchdown, and I can do it over and over again. I'll show it to you again. Again, cover six, no adjustments, literally all you do. And I mean, well, I don't even know if I need to have the play verticals, but it does work best out of verticals. But basically, the wheel route just completely dumbs us out. So you'll see right here. And a lot of the bombs, if you think about it, a lot of the bombs from Bunch are like some kind of slot streak. It's either a streak to the slot or a streak to the outside. So I'll give you another bomb. I'm not sure if this works against cover six. I know it works against cover four. So this is a oldie. This was like a first, you know, first of the year bomb. It doesn't work that good, as you see. It, it it's it's not that good. It's really good if they press. Like if your opponent presses, I don't think you should run press this year um, that much unless you're running cover two. But anyways, uh, another bomb is clear out. So for example, I could do something like this. And normally this will break match. We'll see if it does in this right here. Yeah, you see R1. So you see how it, it's like the majority of the bombs are to the slot. Okay? And the majority of the bombs are essentially some kind of streak up the seam. That's essentially what the bombs are. So another popular play is clear out. I'll show you this with a corner route right there. The play art's glitched, but as you can see... Um, so this is cover six stock and what you'll see here is for the most part this does a good job It takes it away. So we're going to show you an adjustment that really can take this away and there's really two of them um, One of them I think is riskier than the other one So the riskier one to me is to do this and and, and what you'll do is you just take this guy um, Whoever you want out of this maybe the three wreck probably the three wreck to be honest and you just man him up on r1 Right, you just man him up on R1, say, you know what, he's going to be man magged everywhere he goes, he's manned up. It'll help a little bit with things like flood. And the problem is what you get into is if the safety doesn't match very well, like, this could be a real problem, okay? And especially, let's say they do something, I mean, there's so many route combos in Bunch, so I don't have time to go into everything they can do. But there's a lot of things that they can do. I'll give you this one real quick. So, like, let's say they run uh, verticals and they motion out and they do this. Well, now you see here, I mean, it does play it okay. But as you see, I mean, and you just don't, I don't personally like to run that. Because, because what if R1 doesn't do that, right? What if R1, they use him as a decoy. And then I'm just saying, you know, they could do something like this. And I'm not saying this is a bomb. But I'm just saying, like, there's other things, and you see how that right side safety, I mean, there. if you have a faster receiver, like, that could be a bomb. So the better way to combat this, and really the best adjustment, in my opinion, from any three wide receiver set, any three wide receiver set, is to take that three-rec hook zone, 
which is a three receiver hook, which means to the three receiver side, he opens his hips and he looks for work. And what we're going to do is we're going to simply change that to a mid read zone. They patch the mid read zones. Mid reads are better than they've ever been, in my opinion. And so now I'm going to show you that same bomb out of verticals. I'm going to motion out circle. I've got the strict to R1, and I want you to watch what the mid read does. You'll see the mid read completely takes that away. Actually, it kind of glitched, kind of dumbed out there. Let me show that one more time. Let's see if that's consistent. So you see something like this. And then, you know, I would go ahead. You could deep half on the bunch side too so you don't get bombed. Let's see if this works. I don't know. I think it just got fluky. He normally takes him. Oh, he completely left him. Wow. Okay. Well, there goes the tip. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Um, if you Basically, you do this. So you mid-read and then you deep half. The reason why is because I think what's happening is the quarter flat is kind of fluking out a little bit on this. You see there, mid-read. There you see he takes him. That's what I'm talking about. So for whatever reason, he didn't take him. But anyway, so you're going to deep half the bunch side safety, and then you're going to put the mid-read mid -read on the field. Those two adjustments, you'll never get bombed again. You'll never get bombed again. And then what I like to do off of this is, you know, then I can go ahead and there's a couple things I can do with this. You know, it, it's, you know, again, this mid-read, more, more times than not, I mean, honestly, this mid read will run with him. I'll show you clear out is a good example of the clear out bomb. So watch the mid read here. You'll see he runs with him all the way up the seam. That's kind of what you're going to get. I mean, you're going to get a lot more of that. And as you can see, I mean, it's just not open, right? And I'll show you again. So let me go to, um, let me put him on a mid read and then let me go to clear out again. So if I were to run, I want you to watch circle this time as I thought circle was doing something weird. Yeah, you see he goes to him. See, that's weird. That's interesting. Um, so anyways, you know, the bottom line is, you know, this is the, the mid-read and then the deep half on that side should take away all of the bombs that they can do from bunch. So what this now does, so I clear out right here, you see that circle receiver. Now we play it. It plays it properly. Uh, before, for whatever reason, quarters will leave, leave that fade. I don't know why. But it just it's I think it's just a bug. Um, it's hard to believe that Madden 22 has some glitches in it, but uh, it does. So anyways, you've got this look right here. So now let's say they run you know Z spot. Well, the bunch flood concept is basically going to be completely guarded, as you see right here. Um, you know, really good match defense and takes away those corner routes that are so hard to guard. So that leaves us with the only dilemma, the only route on the field that they can you know, realistically consistently hit you with from gun bunch um, in terms of, in terms of like a flood concept is the actual play flood. So, and I'll show you why. So the mid read again is going to open up to play vertical route. So if they run the flood play, R1 is technically a vertical route. Watch the mid read. See how he goes to him, but he doesn't finish. He doesn't follow him all the way, unfortunately. And that's the three receiver does the same thing. Um, you'll see here, like if I just run this stock, Flood will be open all day. Like, you can just run flood, 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 right? So, the other way that we can combat the flood play is to take the quarter flat defender. And we can take him and we can do a couple things. So, if we want to, we could just run, honestly, we could just run golden on a purple. And that would be it. And I'll show you that that will be decent enough. And for the most part... If they want to run flood, you know, you're going to do all right. You know, golden needs a little bit better ratings, but you see that it's the concept is there. The other thing you can do, though, is you can go mid read, deep half, and then you can put your corner on your slot corner on a curl flat. And this is going to do a little bit more of an accurate representation of the actual defense against Gun Bunch, which is called box defense or box check. And now you'll see. That curl flat will split the difference of the flat, and that really the only thing they can throw is the flat. And if they throw the flat, you're gonna have like you're gonna tackle them now because they patched it. You're gonna tackle them, especially let's say you do something like this where you base a line, you know, and then you've got your mid read, you've got your curl flat, and then you've got your um, your deep half right, and then maybe you you know again. You know, if you want to, you could drop this guy. A much more natural decision is to drop this guy into a 
hard flat. So now this is a really good bunch defense um, because you've got good pressure off the side. Everything to the bunch side should be taken away, literally everything. They should have nothing to that side of the field that they could do. And as you see, we're able to take away, you know, flood and the corner route and the flat route and the do and, and the deep bombs. So I really like that. So now, you know, really the only thing is you're sitting here, and this is the other reason why I really like a mid read zone. Um, so let's say you know you're using Williams, okay? Um, you're using Williams, and let's say they run the vertical display with the crosser. Watch how this mid read zone carries it right to your user. Where I mean, it's just completely taken away. And you you know if you don't use the crosser, um, I will say like if you don't use that crossing route. Um, I have seen that be effective, but now you've got a mid read defender. If they run like a backside in route uh, from that, you know, if they run a curl route, the mid read will work on that a little bit. You know, if they just run this verticals play, uh, watch this, watch this. I mean, watch these zones react. See that deep half come over, you know, so as long as you use it just a little bit on this, um, you're going to be in a really good position. And this is a really decent bunch defense. So again, your adjustments are mid read the middle, uh, the mid read the three red hook, drop the bunch side safety in a deep half. And then from there, you know, if you want to keep this quarter flat on, you can, and then just drop this guy into a hard flat. Um, let me show you what that looks like against flood specifically. I think he still gets sucked down. Uh, yeah, he does. He totally does. So, and that's where I would just put, put um the slot on a on a purple zone so mid read deep half purple and then um hard flat right there that right there is your in my opinion the best bunch defense in the game and and the reason why is and i didn't even get to this in this video but let's say they do something like this this is a like a, a you know what people will try to do against this watch the post you'll see this deep half will basically match the post perfectly he'll take that away every time so that's why i really like cover six it takes away the whole bunch the it, it it really does a good job against bunch um for a lot of different reasons but as you can see um you know i think this is the best bunch defense in the game right now again let me show you the adjustments literally all you're going to do spread your line crash your line to the right and then from there just go crazy with your adjustments so i like to use or this guy williams um and if you wanted to you could even you know eh, i won't go that far um, but anyways, you go deep half, you go uh, purple zone to the slot, and then you go this. You can leave the three rec, or you can put it in that mid read. I really like the mid read for the seam streaks in particular to the slot. And then you know, as you can see, I mean, this is really, really good defense, really, really good defense. And you're just looking mesh post, double post, all that stuff. The mid read will eat it alive. So, thanks for watching the video. That's how I like to stop bunch. And um, just a really good defense for any three wide receiver formation in the game, bunch tight end, any of that stuff. Cover six is really good against bunch tight end, and we'll talk about that in the future. But if you want to get my full 335 odd defensive ebook, like I said, it's on sale in the description or the comment section. Uh, you just click that link, it'll take you right over to the website. You can get the defensive guide for just 15 bucks.